You may have heard in the news that antimatter falls down, and that's weird. Electrons fall towards protons, and antimatter electrons, positrons, fall away from protons. So if matter falls towards matter, why doesn't antimatter fall away from matter? Ultimately, it's because of the different nature of different kinds of charges in our universe. Yes, I said different kinds of charges. Stick around. So in high school, we all learn about electric charge, but in fact, there's a whole bunch of other charges. In the standard model of particle physics, there are other charges like weak isospin and color charge. And these are what flip for antimatter. But in physics lingo, we also refer to charges as basically anything that's conserved. And energy is conserved, at least in quantum field theory. But it's conserved for a different reason. Let me explain. As demonstrated by the brilliant mathematician Emmy Noether in the early 20th century, quantities are conserved as a consequence of symmetries in the universe. What we found is that energy is conserved in systems whose laws of physics are the same at different moments of time. This is called time translation invariance. So for a system of non-relativistic quantum particles, this is totally valid and is a real property of the system. However, there are also symmetries that give rise to conserved quantities that don't have anything to do with space-time. These are called internal symmetries. Notably, these symmetries are what give rise to fundamental forces. Anyway, in a very rigorous sense, one can split up symmetries into space-time symmetries, like time translation, and internal symmetries. And because they can be split up, it's at least sensible to think that antimatter particles only have opposite internal charges. And we can check this by combining matter and antimatter. If they had opposite space-time charges too, no energy would be released. The negative and the positive energies would cancel out. But from experiments, we know that energy is released, and lots of it. So antimatter doesn't have all of the opposite charges, just some of them. And because antimatter seems to have positive energy, and energy is the quantity that tells us about gravitation, at least according to the mass energy equivalence and the broader equivalence principle, we should have expected that antimatter falls down. And it did.